LS Tractor USA has introduced a series of Tier 4 engines into the market that are both fuel efficient and environmentally friendly. On these tractors there are some emission systems and there are indicator lamps to allow the operator to understand and to know what is taking place on the tractor. In this illustration that you see here there are three red circles in the upper right hand corner. It's those three lamps that we will be talking about throughout the next few minutes. In this photograph you see the instrument panel on the tractor as it would be almost on any other tractor and in this case where there are no lamps illuminated the exhaust system is operating as it would on any tier 3 tractor. Turning the key from the off position to the on position and or starting the tractor will automatically set the tier 4 emission system into the automatic mode. In this condition, the operator needs to do nothing for the tractor to go ahead and take care of itself. Everything is fully automatic and there is no inputs needed from the operator. Periodically during operation, the diesel particulate filter indicator lamp will come on, notifying the operator that regeneration is needed soon. In this condition, the operator still needs to do nothing. Everything is still in automatic mode. If the engine is not yet up to full operating temperature, this lamp will stay on until the temperature lamp comes on, indicating that it is now warm enough for it to actually enter into regeneration. As shown in this illustration, you can see that both the DPF lamp and the temperature lamp are on, indicating that the regeneration process has begun. There may be a few cases where the operator is inflammable material and wishes to postpone the regeneration process and we will talk about that a little more later. Right now this is normal regeneration and again no input needed from the operator. Both lamps may stay on for over half an hour indicating that regeneration process is taking place and everything is operating as normal. These lamps will go off as the regeneration is complete. As briefly indicated earlier, there may be times when the operator wishes to prevent regeneration from taking place at that particular time. It's possible to turn off the regeneration process by depressing on the DPF switch, depressing it downward for about three seconds. At that time, the indicator lamp will come on on the instrument panel indicating that regen has been inhibited. Once the switch has been depressed for approximately three seconds, the inhibit lamp will illuminate on the instrument panel indicating that it is in inhibit mode now. The regeneration process has been stopped and will not continue until the switch is depressed upward for three seconds or the key is cycled off and back on again to set it back in automatic mode. Inhibit is only intended for a short period of time just to allow the operator to move to a safe area in case he's operating in flammable material. Just after regeneration has completed, the DPF lamp will turn off. However, the temperature lamp will remain on for a few minutes indicating that the burner temperature is still high and it needs to cool down a little bit. Normal operation can continue, there's nothing needed from the operator, and it's best to allow the tractor to continue to run until this lamp goes off. However, if you do need to turn the tractor off, the fuel pump will remain running for approximately 10 minutes to keep the injectors and the burner cool.